Let's bring in Mark Matson, CEO and founder at Matson Money. Uh, so, Mark, when we see some of these specific stock stories driving the action, Apple breaking out way beyond anything else in the Fang Group, T-Mobile and Intel of all companies leading the charge, not to mention a little energy mixed in, could this be a more sustainable bullish momentum than what we got in the summer when it fell and face planted just about a month later? Yeah, well, that's a great point, Oliver. Look, you know, I'm always telling investors it's never time to panic. If you look at this year, the uh, S&P 500, even with some, even over the last couple of weeks coming back a little bit, is still down 19%. That's that's in crash range. Uh, Nasdaq is down 30%. We'll see what it is at the, at the end of the day. But most investors make a very similar mistake. They put most of their money in equities in the U.S. in in large stocks and tech stocks, and they forget about the 2000s when tech stocks dropped seven. 75%. So they're not very broadly diversified. And then to, on the bond side, most of them are long bonds. Long bonds are down also 30%. So the average person in America now with their portfolio is down 30%. Inflation's up almost 10%. So their, their real wealth is down 40% and they're panicked and they don't know what to do and they don't have very uh, much faith in equities going forward. So my first message to investors today is, look, don't panic. Stay long term. You have to stay in equities 10, 20, 30 years, not 10 minutes. Panic. It's never right time to panic, Oliver. And uh, do you think that's uh, sort of what we've seen here? Or uh, have we had good reason to run for the hills with the Fed jacking up rates and the most expensive stocks since dot com? Have we shaken that off? I don't know if we've shaken it off, but what I do know is that markets are extremely forward looking. They take all of the knowable and predictable information about the future and they factor it into the price today. That's why they're so hard to predict going forward. The facts are markets are extremely random. Thirty five uh, uh, three quarters of the time, 75 percent of the time markets go up in the ballpark of around 20 percent. A quarter of the time they're down, but they're only down 11. So that's why investors need to stay disciplined long term. But they need to diversify. Look, uh, in our portfolio, small value stocks, when NASDAQ is down 30, are only down 4%. And small stocks are only down in the ballpark of 13%. But most investors don't own those. Those are those are portfolios and, and stocks most people never invest in. And they're, and they're paying the price for it right now. Never follow the herd. It's so easy when everybody's buying one thing. And that's what's been happening over the last three years. It's all tech. And it's all large stocks with very little small stocks, very little international diversification and all long bonds. So it's it's the average American has made a very similar mistake that they made in the 95 to 2000 range. Mm. Mark, uh, in the 95 to 2000, ultimately, when that peaked, it was a long time to get back to where we were. A lot lost along the way, uh, a decade for some of the big tech giants that would become the biggest companies in the world to get back to where they were. Uh, Apple seems like uh, it wants to get back to those highs sooner, but as we get new lows in some of the others this week, should we be wary of investing in the broad index while it's still tech dominated? I, I would. I wouldn't dump, uh, you know, the S&P 500 is one of the smallest sectors of our portfolios. Uh, it's not very broadly diversified. And it's just like, you know, Zebra in the uh, Serengeti. Everybody's just herding into a handful of stocks. Those are the ones we all hear about, we all know about. Uh, and those are the ones that have been got uh, been getting hammered this year. So I would and I, and I would encourage investors. Look, you have to diversify internationally. You can't just you know invest at home in large blue chip stocks. You got to be in Europe. You got to be in Asia. You got to be in emerging markets to diversify your portfolio. They're down right now relative to the U.S. and that's why you should be diversifying into them. Okay, Tesla down here near the lows. Uh, what about uh, the potential that this uh, story about the Fed backing down has gotten ahead of itself? Where do you fall on that, Mark? Um, is there actually going to be a tone change next week from Jerome Powell? Well, I'm, I'm, I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to next week is a potential change in leadership in the government <laughs> with a red wave. Uh, I'm, I don't have I don't have much confidence in this administration. I don't have much confidence in the Fed. Uh, but ironically, if you uh, uh, Dr. Fama, Ph.D. Nobel Prize winner, says the Fed actually has very little to do with setting interest rates. Uh, I know everybody thinks that they, they set the rates. They don't. They largely follow interest rates. But what's key here for everybody to know is that inflation has to be dealt with. 
And Dr. Art Laffer, who's on our academic board, worked with President Reagan after the disastrous years of Jimmy Carter when interest rates were up to 14 percent and inflation rate was right up there with it. And they have a plan to bring this inflation down. You've got to stop all this massive spending. You have too much dollars out there uh, in the deficits and you've got to bring that down. And then you've got to let free markets go to work and let entrepreneurs and CEOs, uh, you've got to free them up. And then you have to free up people to drill and, and create energy uh, reserves and uh, grow this country like it was prior to this administration. Uh, from the market standpoint and from the, the standpoint of your, your standard of life, uh, this administration has been disastrous on both counts. All right. Uh, Mark, thanks for the thoughts. Uh, and uh, a good reminder here that panic uh, doesn't generally uh, pay. Uh, thanks, Mark Matson, CEO. My pleasure. At Matson Money.